guys, Kasina Nining here. Uh, thank you again for watching my videos. Today guys, I'm going to cook ginataang puso ng saging, banana blossoms with coconut milk. So in the Philippines, um, this is really common to us, you know, because this is really easy to make and less costly. And most of the times, we don't even, you know, buy the banana blossoms because we can pick that right from our banana plant straight from our yard at least that's that's the kind of setting I remember when I was a kid anyway so this kind of food we can either add meat fish or even dried fish but today guys since we have leftover pork barbecue so that's what I'm going to add for this recipe so as you can see um, I just opened a can of banana blossoms, you know, which is not really a typical uh, type of ingredients that we use because we use fresh. But since we are in different countries, so we use these canned um, banana blossoms because that's the only available that we can get. You know, we can still get some fresh from Asian store, but this is more convenient to use so yeah so I just drained the um, the brine from the can so so this is now the banana blossoms so there are some bigger pieces that I'm go I'm going to cut into small you know into bite size this is really good guys um, I like it even though these are not fresh from the plant but these are actually still you know an alternative one that we can uh, still have, have this kind of recipe that you know we missed from the Philippines anyway so sometimes I used um, shrimp and sometimes fried fish with this kind of recipe Okay guys, so I'm just gonna continue to cut this into pieces and then I'll just rinse this uh, one time to remove that uh, brine taste from the can. Alright, so this is now the banana blossoms that we just rinsed. So we'll just put that aside for now. So now we're gonna prepare the garlic. So preparing the garlic about I'm using about six cloves of garlic for this recipe. So just uh, cut this into smaller pieces. I always like my garlic to be like um almost like minced you know because you get all this kind of you get that best taste of the garlic
So after heating up the pan, just add the barbecue pork. As what I mentioned earlier, that that's what I'm gonna use for this recipe. Um, as you noticed, I did not add any more uh, oil because you know the, the barbecue pork has fats, and we'll just you know heat it up and let that um, fats come comes out. Just use that to saute the garlic and the onions. Alright guys, so just added the peppers here, they look beautiful, so they are really colorful. Anyway, so these are frozen peppers guys, so as um, these are actually peppers from our garden last summer that we put in the freezer. And you can actually see that in my previous uh, videos, in the very early videos that I uploaded that we harvested um, lots of peppers and we decided to just bag them and put them in the freezer so anyway so now I just added the coconut milk and um, yeah so I'll just stir that yeah I used two cans of coconut milk here Again, in the Philippines, we don't use canned um, coconut milk because, you know, we have tons and tons of <clears throat> coconut, fresh coconut that we can use. So again, since we are in different country and our, the canned coconut milk is, you know, that's the only available coconut milk that we can get so then add the guinea mix that's our Filipino seasoning so I use two package of the smallest you know the smallest package of guinea mix and yeah, then black peppers and some more of the garlic powder Alright, so once it boils, add the banana blossoms. Yep, just mix it together. Alright, so we'll just gonna let it cook for another five minutes. Um, because it doesn't take long time for these banana blossoms to cook. Um, yeah. So anyway, you might think that this is really hot, um, because of the peppers not really guys because, because the peppers that I use here are not hot peppers so okay so we're just gonna mix it again and um, cook it for another five minutes 